We are just a few days away from taking this bill up on the floor of the United States Senate. Most of America knows why we're here. Wall Street got away with murder, and the American taxpayers took the fall for it. There was nothing natural about how we ended up here. It was a bunch of very reckless business practices. I can't even describe them as business practices. Reckless practices uh, at some of the country's largest financial institutions that uh, piled up mountains of debt uh, in the form of these securitized uh, transactions on their balance sheet, and then crashed the entire economy and left the American taxpayer holding the bag. Cost families across America and cost the credibility of their government. People were just asking the question, wait a minute, if they did everything wrong, why do we have to pay for it? Well, most of that money's being paid back. When it's all over, we want it all paid back, every single penny with interest. But in the process, we've got to make some changes in the law to make sure this never happens again. Moving forward, it's very important for us to know that we're never going to be in a position again of describing some financial institution as too big to fail. Never be in the, another position again of, of saying to the American taxpayer, you've got to bail out a uh, financial institution because of someone else's greedy decisions that you had nothing to do with. That we're going to put ourselves in a position to regulate and make much more transparent uh, all of the securities that are traded uh, in our country. Those who oppose that, I think, are going essentially to favor the status quo. And that status quo favors the banks. That status quo tolerates uh, arcane derivative transactions, pools of private capital that are not uh, at all transparent, uh, rating agencies that are not doing the job they should be doing in many cases. A and it also dramatically disfavors consumers. This bill that we will bring to the floor of the United States Senate has the strongest consumer financial protection in the history of the United States of America. It's going to stop those practices which rely on tricks and traps and misleading and shadowy agreements that drag people into circumstances they never, ever would have voluntarily gone into. What kind of things am I talking about? I'm not talking about derivatives, which are hard to explain. I'm talking about mortgages, which many of us face in life. And the fact that there are provisions, there were provisions in some of these mortgages that were awful. In that stack of papers that people sign at closing, secreted away on one of the lines was a prepayment penalty that people didn't even understand. And it meant if you've got a bad mortgage, you're stuck with it. You can't go out and get a better one. And that cost a lot of people not only their homes, but their life savings. That's one of the tricks that was in there. There are some other tricks and traps, too. Find them every month in the mail on the back of your credit card statement. That fine print you can barely read and lawyers can't understand that talks about exploding interest rates, all of that needs to be changed. So that whether we're talking about automobile loans or student loans or mortgages, whether we're talking about the basic needs in credit card companies, that we have one agency that says, Mom and Pop America, we're looking out for you. We expect this federal government to guarantee the toaster you bought at the store doesn't explode and catch fire in your kitchen. That's one of the basics of selling something in America. Shouldn't we also ask this federal government to guarantee that that mortgage won't explode a few years after you've signed it, taking away your American dream and your family's home in the process? That's what this consumer protection provision is all about. Now, there are a lot of people who are fighting this and resisting it, but I think we understand that it's time to bring together the powers of this government to stand behind people so that they are empowered empowering consumers across America to understand what they're signing, make conscious decisions about what they're going to do, and to make sure that some of the shade, shadowy and shady things that have been done in the past come to an end. That's why I think that this needs to be done and done quickly.